Hey, what's up, y'all? If y'all want to know all about my septum piercing and whether it hurt or not, stay tuned. But before we get started, please take the time out to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with me whenever I upload a video. Without further ado, let's go. Okay, y'all, so the first time I saw septum piercings was a long time ago. And when I first saw it, I was like, ugh, that like a boo. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I saw a lot of white people, but I didn't see too many black people when it was white people. They were wearing the big horseshoes and everything. So I was like, uh-uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. So, you know, and this is before I even had this piercing right here. So, you know, I ended up getting this piercing. And so as time went on, I ended up, you know, seeing different piercings and everything. And... I ended up seeing the seventh person again. I met this girl and she had a piercing. She had the nostril piercing. I had that also. So when I saw her with the seventh person, I was like, that's cute. I didn't know you had that and everything. It was so small. So I asked, did it hurt and everything? And she was like, just no. And you know, she flipped it up when she wanted to buy the seat and she flipped it down and everything. So I was like, I'm a, you know, I'm thinking about getting that. I think it's really cute and everything. So time went on and everything. And I was, you know, seeing different people with the seventh person. And I was like, I don't know if I want that because, you know, I would see people would, you know, they would be too low or it would be crooked. And I was like, I don't want to take a chance. They're done and it's crooked or it's too low and everything. So I would, you know, just look at different people. And the more I saw it, the more I wanted it and everything. So I started going on YouTube and everything and just um, looking at different people get their septum pierced. I didn't do any research. I'm just watching people get their self person and everything. And the more I'm watching it or anything, it's making me anxious. I'm like, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Now, y'all, I can be impulsive sometimes. Like, if I feel down or something and I want to distract myself, I might just go out there and just jump out there and do something crazy. Like, I have a tattoo in the back of my shoulder. And, you know, it was impulsive. I always wanted a tattoo and everything, but I was going through something. So, in order to take my mind off of that, I ended up with this tattoo. So, yeah, the pain from the tattoo took my mind off of whatever I was going through back then. So anyway, one day I was like, I told my sister, go with me to the tattoo place to get my septum pierced. I finally want to do it and everything. So she's like, okay, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and do it. So, you know, we drive to the um, tattoo place and we get there and it's this white guy there and he already has his septum pierced. So I let him know that, you know, I want my septum pierced and all that and I want to know do it hurt and everything. And so he lets me know it doesn't hurt. He did his own and everything. And he tells me that if you have that one, then you definitely can take that one because that one hurts more than the septum. And I'm like, well, I don't really know because I didn't have this with a gun. I didn't have this done, you know, when I was a teenager. So it wasn't do with no needle and everything. So, you know, so he was like, well, you'll be okay. It's not going to hurt and everything. And so I'm like, okay. So he takes me to the back and everything. And I get up on the, um, the, the table and sit down. And so my sister, she's sitting right here and it's a big mirror right there. So she's not even paying attention to me and everything. So he cleans out my nose and all that good stuff. And he marks my nose and... You know, he gets the, the the clamps to, you know, clamp my nose so that when he pierced it, you know, and that was kind of uncomfortable because he's, you know, tugging and, you know, making sure it's in the right spot and everything. He's feeling in my nose and I don't know what he's doing, but what he was doing was he was looking for a sweet spot. And like I said, I didn't do any research, so I just thought that he was going to get it done in your cartilage. So that's what took me so long to decide whether I wanted my septum piercings because I thought it was going to be in the cartilage, but it's not. It's in your sweet spot. So it's, you know, a little bit back from the the cartilage and that's where your sweet spot is at so anyway so he gets the things and tools get together and everything and so he takes the needle out and you know the stick that he has to stick the needle and everything and so he goes ahead and i'm like you know i close my eyes because i don't want to be sitting there going cross eyed trying to see you know everything that he's doing so i sit with my eyes closed and everything and so he goes ahead and he sticks it in my nose and everything and when i feel it i'm like mm. and so my sister she turns around she's like oh it's in there it's in there so i looked down and everything and get yeah, a stick and the needle was in my nose and everything and my nose is like on shock she is shocked home nose is shocked so i can't no longer feel my nose and everything and so i'm like a tear that came on my eye i'm like oh my god you didn't make me cry so you know we go ahead and laugh and everything and once you know he gets the um needle through the stick is still in so he takes the jewelry and he starts sticking the jewelry in and then i think that right there was 
one of the most uncomfortable parts, you know, because that's when I start feeling things again. So he gets the jewelry and, and everything, and he gets the balls on, and he, you know, cleans my nose, but they didn't even bleed because I didn't see any blood or whatever. If it bled, it bled like up in the insides and everything. So he goes ahead and he look at it. He like, you had the perfect nose for him, you know, just thinking he's saying that and everything. But I look in the mirror and I'm like. Oh my gosh, she cute, she cute and everything. So, you know, I pay him, I think it was like $50 or $55. It wasn't expensive at all, at all. So, you know, I pay him and, you know, he tells me, you know, how to clean it and all that good stuff, you know, saline solution. And he asked me before I left, did I want to have it, you know, flipped up or did I want to leave it down? And because I thought it was cute and everything, I thought it was going to be, you know, easy to flip up. I was like, no, you're going to leave it flipped down. Well, that was a big mistake because, you know, I had to go to work and... My supervisor wasn't having it and he was like, you need to, you know, flip that up. And I was like, I can't, I can't. And so, you know, I flipped it halfway up and it, um, you know, because I had it flipped halfway up, it, you know, was rubbing up against my skin and it made it like sore right there and everything. But all in all, it didn't hurt. It was real fast. The most painful experience of the septum piercing is the healing process. That's the most painful part for me. I think with any piercing, the, um, Part for me that's the most painful is the healing process so um you know like I said it um the healing process it um took about two weeks for it to stop hurting and before it stopped hurting I will always bang my nose if I was getting in the car I would hit my nose if I was doing anything I would hit my nose and before I got my septum pierced I wasn't hitting my nose on anything so I couldn't figure out I didn't have my septum piercing now for three years and I have not taken it out yet because I was scared to take it out in the beginning and now that is three years I'm just waiting to you know go back to the um, tattoo shop I have been to the tattoo shop looking at different um, you know septum jewelry and I haven't found any that I like yet so I am going to go back sometime soon to get this changed out I just got to figure out what I want um, some things I like about the septum piercing is that like this is a 14 gauge and it's very small I like that I can flip it up or flip it down so if I don't want to buy to see it then it's easy to flip up and you can't you know I, I don't turn to the side and you see it so now if you have a big one you will see and everything so I do like that I can flip it up I think it's cute I think it's sexy I think it's you know one of my wildest pierces that I had my tongue pierced my navel pierced my cartilage pierced so yeah I definitely like this piercing would I recommend that anybody get it I used to always say I wouldn't recommend that anybody get it, but yes, I would because I think it's cool and everything. And like I said, you can flip it up and it's kind of sexy to me. Now, you know, for somebody older, I don't, you know, know if they would be interested, but I have seen some people older than me with the septum piercing and everything. I know that the little, you know, youngest, they like the piercing and everything and they be getting, you know, all the piercings and everything. So yeah, I would recommend it. Um, people have asked me, would you do it again? I used to say no because of the healing process. Like I said, that healing process was a whoo. But yeah, I used to always say no, but if I had to do it again and it's closed, yes, I would get it done over again. And so I would have them flip it up while it was healing so that way, you know. But yes, I would get it done again. Um, I don't have any bumps on the um, the piercing, so it healed very well. So I'm definitely pleased with that. So yeah, this is my boo. I love this piercing. This is my boo. But um, I don't want this to be too long. I just wanted to, you know, let y'all know about my little septum piercing. And, you know, for the people who think about getting it, you know, if it hurt and everything, I hope I answer any of your questions. It's very easy to take care of. I say don't change it out until it heals and everything. But, yeah, that's my experience. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this on up. So, if you like this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Hit the notification bell and subscribe once again. And I'm out. Deuces.